I'll be honest, I didn't expect Waluigi Stadium to be the least forgiving. I didn't expect Waluigi Stadium to be the least forgiving. People might remember from my Mario Kart Wii accessibility video that Waluigi Stadium was the least accessible track out of the ones I made examples out of. If you haven't watched the video yet, I highly recommend doing so before continuing with this one. But long story short, a lot of my issues from this track came from how the edges of the road blended in too much with the colours of the off-road. However, Wave 4 of the Booster Course Pass DLC brought us a third version of Waluigi Stadium. From the trailers alone, a lot has changed about the track. In this video, I will be looking at whether Mario Kart 8 Deluxe fixed a lot of the accessibility issues I had with the original and Wii's version of the track or not. Without further ado, let's start racing! First of all, the colours are so much brighter than in older versions of this track. The lighting is great and makes the dirt shine differently depending on if it's on or off-road. For example, the on-road looks more clearly driven on, whereas the off-road is lighter and more untouched. They also got rid of the gradient between the on and off road sections almost entirely, so I can now tell where the sides of the road end. The Booster Course Pass version opted to change the background elements from being the same brown colours as the track itself to many other colours. They added more stadium lights, a different colour scheme for the bleachers, and some other minor things like neon lights and the Mario Kart Company's posters on the bleachers. This in turn made the fireball obstacles easier to see as the orange and yellow colours of the fire, alongside the blue, purple and white colours of the background, are complementary colours. Meanwhile, in the Wii and GameCube versions of the track, the orange and yellow flames on top of the mostly brown background blended in more. Speaking of the obstacles, they also got a minor glow up. The obstacles themselves stayed in the same places for the most part. But now we have the added option to take a different route if you jump from the half pipes to the right places. It's a good change that doesn't affect the difficulty of the track too much, but it's still a nice option for those having trouble with the original route. The only issue I had with this version of the track was that some of the smaller jumps were harder to see than in other versions of the track. But to be perfectly honest, that's such a small price to pay for how much they really improved. Overall, I'm really glad that the Booster Course Pass is continuing to give us more Waluigi love in the form of these amazing tracks. Even though DS Mario Circuit should have been almost any other DS track, Airship Fortress and Tofino Square were right there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to Gaming Reinvented. And what did you think of Waluigi Stadium? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below or in the Discord server linked in the description. Until next time, bye!